The Bible teaches us that God is the Creator. He made us to know Him in a personal way. But there is a problem. Man became separated from God. God is on one side and all the people on the other side. So, what has caused this gap between us and God? The Bible says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 To sin is to refuse to follow God and to turn away from Him. This disobedience causes us to become separated from Him. It means we are not on good terms with God. In fact, we are His enemies. Now, what will this separation from God finally lead to? It leads to death, judgment, and punishment. The Bible tells us, It is appointed for man to die once, and after this comes judgment. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 And those who do not know God and do not obey the Lord Jesus will pay the penalty of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 8 and 9 Sounds harsh, doesn't it? Is there a way out of this serious problem? Yes, God has given us a bridge to life so that we will never be separated from Him again. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, For there is one God and one mediator, also between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Christ died for our sins. He was buried and He was raised on the third day. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4 Christ's death and resurrection brings us back to God. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 Christ died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, in order that He might bring us to God. Jesus Christ is the only way back to God. He is the bridge to life. Hmm, is this bridge for everyone? No, only for the person who makes up his mind to stop disobeying God and commits himself to Jesus Christ as his personal Saviour and Lord. The Bible tells us the person who is saved from sin has eternal life and does not come into judgment but has passed out of death into life. John chapter 5 verse 24 What does it mean to have eternal life? It means having a right relationship with God that lasts forever. There is no more separation from God. As many as received Him, to them He gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in His name. John chapter 1 verse 12 If you trust in Jesus Christ to forgive your sins and sincerely want to follow Him, the Bible says you now have eternal life. To commit to Jesus Christ as a personal Saviour and Lord means to obey and depend on Him in everything you do. The Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 23, If anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. And in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. Do you want to receive Jesus Christ into your life now? If you do, I would like to invite you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, I confess I am a sinner. I want to trust you as my Saviour and obey you as my Lord. Please forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. Thank you for providing the way back to God. Amen. If you sincerely believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour and have prayed to ask Him into your life, you are now a Christian.